So Dr. Molly Turco, how are you? I am great, thank you. So thank thanks you. for doing this. I, uh, you know, I, I heard you were a speaker here at the NAEP Expo. Mm -hmm. Just for starters, how has the NAEP Expo been for you? This is my first time to experience the exhibit part of NAEP, and so I'm, I'm loving it. I love the excitement around it. I love seeing all of the geology and the prospects, and it's fun to just talk to people and hear what they're passionate about with their prospect. Terrific. And then I wasn't able to sit in on your talk, but please, like, tell me a little bit about what was, what was some of the main points and what was the real deliverable for you? We really wanted to talk about what are some of the new technology and tools for imaging in the subsurface, especially when it comes to things like faults, fractures, fluids. So we have our reservoirs in the subsurface. Naturally, there's going to be faults and fractures and fluids. And throughout the decades of history, as technology has gotten better, we want to use that data to understand, like, are these faults good? Are they bad? Are they, are they moving fluids like oil? Are they moving fluids like water? And just understanding that can really help increase reservoir productivity. Nice. And then when it comes to 2025 and the year ahead, what are the things that, as you sit, you know, as you stand on stage and you have this chance to to share with all of these different oil and gas professionals, what do, you, what do you really feel like they should be thinking about to be proactive and be ahead of the game for this coming year? So there's kind of a saying that the shale boom is dying out. I don't know that I agree with that 100%, but I think we really need to get all of the production that we can out of our reservoir. We, we can't be skimping. So the thing that I want to keep people awake at night is I want them to be thinking about the structural geology. They're going to have faults and fractures in a reservoir. How can they exploit them? How can they understand them better and then maybe target them or maybe stay away from them? Because we really want to get the oil and the gas out of the subsurface. We don't want to leave anything behind. We want to make the most of our reservoirs. And I mean, I'm a structural geologist by training. So I'm always going to say, hey, how can we exploit like those faults and fractures in the reservoir? Okay, this is great. And then so for a non-technical audience, and I want to say I'm one of them, what is structural geology? Like what are the things that we need to think about? Um, explain it to me a bit. So when we think about structural geology in the subsurface and we're thinking about our reservoirs, I usually go to the three C's. <laughs> So we can think about structural geology as our faults, our fractures, and maybe even the geometry. And we can break that down into conduits. Faults and fractures can be conduits. They can create compartments. So you can prevent fluids from flowing across your reservoir. And they can be containers. So in the world of conventionals, we often think of, we need a trap and a seal. Our trap, is our geometry, our seal is our integrity. Wow, okay. And when we think about fluids, we have oil, water, and gas. So those faults and fractures, you gotta think about what are they moving and how is that gonna benefit you or what are they compartmentalizing? And I think structural geology is often written off, but I, I, I have a passion to make people care about structural geology. <laughs> so that's what I'm, that's my message is that yes. structural geology is important. Please don't ignore it and talk to people like your favorite structural geologist <laughs> and I will be happy to tell you all about oh, it. I love that. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Yeah. Molly Turco. It means a lot. And uh, if somebody wants to connect with you on LinkedIn, it's good for me to tag you and, and yes. Yes. connect.